there is a history between these two teams that goes beyond just playing each other over and over through many seasons of Rumble. Coming in down the line right here, it's Team Ramrod! Team Ramrod, the finance team. Ramrod's is, is in the rearview mirror. I mean, those guys basically took the Kobe Bryant of their team and they benched him. They stabbed me in the back. Their challengers approach. Team Rocket. It's like you got cooler friends, you know? It felt like some cliche high school drama. He got all pretty and stuff, and now he's hanging out with the pretty people and he doesn't want to hang out with the trolls anymore. Dustin Beck. The guy likes to talk so much shit, but man, I can get on my nerves sometimes, and it get, he knows how to get my blood boiling. I built that team with my own blood, sweat, and tears, and they were jealous that I went and joined the eSports team as opposed to staying on finance. And revenge is a dish best served cold. Hey, Hodges, are we gonna do this? Yeah. I guess. Right, boys, practice. I always wanted to work for a video game company. Are we now Baron's the next objective? Gaming is my true passion and what I've been doing since I can remember. Towers down, towers down, towers down. The Ramrods, I think we've always been 100% about winning and being competitive and doing whatever we need to do to win. Jinx in the back, Jinx in the back. Woo! Keep going, boy. Woo! Riders are here because we love games. We love the spirit of competition. The Rat Rumble is an internal tournament. You get placed into a division. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, masters. Once you get placed into a division, you form a team. You play a, like a, a small regular season, and then there's playoffs, and then it gets like super hype and exciting because it ends in this final. You play in front of your friends, and it's live, and there's shoutcasters, and the goal, of course, is to win a jacket. Brandon, do you have a jacket? I have no jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm due, it's time. <laughs> I mean, there's too many to count. I have, uh, I have a lot of jackets, but if, uh, if I had to be held to a number, I'd say two. It's kind of the closest thing you'll get to playing in the LCS, even though we all suck. Yes, I got him, guys! I <laughs> About 70% of the company uh, is actively participating in Riot Rumble, and it's not just here in North America. We actually have rumbles that go in all of our regions, uh, from Oceania to EU to Korea. In fact, the Korean office has 100% participation in Rumble, which is one of the coolest things I think I've ever heard. Rumble's special because this is how League of Legends should be played. I mean, with your friends, as five, strategizing against an enemy team, scouting, doing fixed bands. Being able to get a bit of, even a taste of that type of experience, I think helps people understand the responsibility we have to build the game for these players all over the world. And I think that helps us do a better job. The way we heard about Rumble, they had announced that, hey, we're gonna do this internal tournament. We're gonna call it the Riot Rumble. I was standing next to Dustin. He looked at me, he's like, dude, we should make a team. We should make a finance team. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. We ended up naming ourselves uh, the Ramrods. The Ramrods season one, we went undefeated and we ended up being the bronze champions of the Riot Rumble. They played bronze first, so technically, we were the first Riot Rumble champions. I think people were surprised that the finance team did as well as we did. But definitely the perception was that the finance guys were, you know, not really gamers. We we're just, we we're just the, the, the nerd finance people. We care more about business and things like that. They showed up and they played their hearts out. So I think actually everyone really loved that. Until they started talking shit with esports. At that point, it was determined that Dustin would split off and start the esports part of Riot, and he would therefore leave finance. The, the turning point, of course, was the benching of Dustin Beck. Dustin left finance and recruited a bunch of former professional players to be on his team. I think that we're kind of like a happy little bystander here, and, and he's created this rivalry that somehow we, we wronged him, which is absolutely not true. They stabbed me in the back and I will never, ever forget that. It was very apparent when Dustin got kicked from the team because he came back, say fired up to mobilize eSports and get some revenge. eSports had a, a, a silver, a gold, a plat, and a diamond team, and finance had teams in a lot of those leagues too. That whole season, people were practicing, they were prepping, like their jobs were on the line, because they might have been. 
the esports team kind of rose to the challenge and we swept. So it was a very proud and defining moment for me and for the rest of the team. So in addition to the scratch match, we still have to prep for our regular season rumble match. We do everything we can think of. Two to three hours of scouting and analysis that we do. They, they got to the finals with the Lowey. Yeah. Right. yeah, I'm not afraid of the Lowey, but I'm afraid our team isn't ready for the Lowey. Yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to spell her name. We just logged lots of data about all their numbers, right? Who they played, kill participation, damage, CS, as much numbers as we can get. Just like in finance, right? Historical trends try to help project their future. So. We sat on one end of a room, and eSports was on the other end of the room. And we'd sometimes play against each other. And one day, they were like, hey, we should scrim. And I was like, hey, Riv, why don't you shout cast? My eSports champ, sell a flag toss over the wall. Man, Polaroid shot, take a picture. We didn't realize that Rivington would be shout casting it and streaming it on Twitch. Literally, we brought the most stacked team we could. The, the rule was absolutely no mercy. They had guys who were plat diamond easily. And we have a bunch of bronzies. The I think I can mentality wraps up finance in a burrito and they get eaten alive. Yeah, we slaughtered them. And it didn't feel very good. It's actually gonna be the surrender from finance as they come in. Our humiliation was broadcast to thousands. They win the best of three bout versus finance. We may see this have to go another round some other time. And on the finance side, you know, there were, there were tears, particularly Brian. He was just covered in his own tears and it was, a, it was a shameful sight. If Dustin wants to play dirty, classic Dustin, let him do it, it's fine. We'll just stomp him when the real game comes. So the match is something that both sides have been waiting a long time for. We want to have the playing field set, them to come in, you know, all the pressure on the line and really settle it once and for all with a best of three grudge match like Rumble is intended to do. Guys, we're heading into game one. In the blue corner. Performing all of your calculations financially at Riot Games. It's none other than Team Ramrod. In the red corner, we have Team Rocket. I believe in our hard work and our synergy and the fact that we're just going to just kick the shit out of them. So this looks like a 20 minute Baron. But they're going to go for it almost immediately. It looks they're like going to Baron. It looks like they're looking at Baron. Oh, Lorby. Oh, Lorby oh, might have it. a little bit of an idea. Shanti dives to Baron. There's the rocket and Redbeard's down. They could finish it they right now. Finish it. Ramrod definitely showing that they still have some life here. They have got to get back to the base, though. Go fast, guys. Go fast. Go fast. Their base is in shambles. Both next oh, to no, down. It's too much. Rexus, Rexus. Rexus. Magus is going in. He's trying to end the game. And there it is. Ramrod fighting for their life. We, we don't need to change everything. Let's right. figure out what was wrong, and we don't need to pick five new champs. We just yeah, figure out right. what's wrong, either ban it and do the same comp, or ban it and do like a slightly different one. And so they'll have first pick, right? They first I feel like a lie was the problem. I, yeah. That's what I said. I kind of think a movie you was guys. the problem. This time it's gonna be Team Rocket on the blue corner, and it's gonna be Ramrod in the red. Exhaust now blown for Shanti and Flash as he's getting collapsed on, but he might just get onto Hot Spot. Oh, and he ate him, yeah, that's but Blurby gets the first blood. Whoa, no, Redbeard Ooh. team taking him out. Woo! Throw the win saying, hey, buddy. Remember when you were on this team. Baron, I would say we're almost in full fiesta. We're going to have to see. Hey, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, oh he he's riding up a storm, but it just oh. doesn't matter. Tom Ketch comes in and the Flash Seals it. This is gonna be a Baron for Team Rocket. You gotta fight, dude. Hits the field goal as Bicho takes half his life, and they are gonna try to end the game. Oh, baby! Baby! And Team Rocket takes it 2 0. That was one hell of a game, Patrick. There was a lot of, you know, sportsmanship and camaraderie that went on here, and, you know, the finance guys, they showed up to play, and they did a good job, so hats off to them. All uh, aggressive talking aside, those were actually really great games.
just had a great time, and I think all the fans had a great time, and I think that's, uh, that's what matters most in the end. We love these guys. We had a lot of fun just like trying to put on a good show. And we're glad we didn't get totally stonked. I mean, they call it a rivalry and a grudge match, but really, at the end of the day, we truly love these guys, Shit talk and everything. That's half of the, the fun. Rumble really helps people empathize and understand what gamers go through. It unifies Riot under kind of one common theme. Everyone's playing Rumble, everyone's trying to win, and everyone's trying to be the best. Get out!